in the first, in the when when they got into the prison and you were actually uh, when Sarah and Callie's past in the show and you had a big moment where we saw how emotional it could be from actually have Walt losing someone. How uh, how did you prepare for that? Because I remember when you talked about the train car scene, you were just like hitting your head, your hand in the wall, and kind of come up to say one line to deliver something that's so emotional that uh, you man you got me tearing up losing someone. How how did you how did you prepare for that? I kind of just. Uh, you know, the, the fortunate thing about doing this job is that you get to kind of live as, this is the fifth year that I've lived as Rick Grimes, and we get to work with characters for a long time and lots of other important relationships. And, and I think a lot of it was, I asked Sarah when Kathy's not to be on set for some reason. And then I listened to music, I just got, and I listened to the same song over and over and over and over and over and got real quiet and just, you know, I don't really, I can't explain it really. It's just, you know, you just see what happens and sometimes you get lucky and sometimes things go in a different way. But I just wanted to, the thing that happens in the show that like any other, I've never experienced it before, is that when people go, you want to honor their deaths. And that, you know, we have Greg and Katera, we have this incredible team making them the most gory, kind of profoundly disturbing sort of deaths. But then there's also the emotional side of things as well, you know, and, and I think you just honor somebody's performance in that way. That's all I wanted to do, really. Um, and real quick, can I get a three-way high five from the, from the two of you? Because this is from Morley Bags. <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> That's probably Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over here, over here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man.